Tonight, seven jurors have now been chosen to sit in judgment of former President Trump, who left for the courthouse this morning, then closely watching what one juror who was dismissed described as a surreal selection process. It's that it's like, oh, this is just another guy. And also he sees me talking about him, which is bizarre. Of those selected so far, a salesperson, an oncology nurse, two attorneys, an IT consultant, a teacher, and a software engineer. The slow-moving vetting process springing into an animated focus group-like atmosphere, with today's pool of nearly two dozen Manhattan residents offering their unvarnished views of the presumptive GOP nominee to his face, under questioning by the prosecution and defense. One man calling Mr. Trump, quote, fascinating and mysterious. One revealing he was a big fan of The Apprentice in middle school. A woman saying, quote, President Trump speaks his mind, and I'd rather that than someone who's in office who you don't know what they're thinking. And a fourth prospective juror telling attorneys, I'm a Democrat, so there you go. But I walk in there and he's a defendant, and that's all he is. The defense team raising successful objections to a handful by pointing out past social media posts, including one who said, lock him up. While the judge fumed at Mr. Trump for appearing to mutter something, warning, I will not have any jurors intimidated in this courtroom. Jury selection is ongoing until 12 people and six alternates are selected. The former president is accused of falsifying business records, a low-level felony, by mischaracterizing a hush money payment he allegedly directed Michael Cohen make to Stormy Daniels as legal expenses on his company's books. Mr. Trump pleaded not guilty. It's called legal expense. That's what you're supposed to call it. Mr. Trump, get it down to us that nobody's ever seen it. Nobody has ever seen anything like it. Meanwhile, in Washington, the Supreme Court's conservative majority appearing skeptical of a federal obstruction law that could affect some charges Mr. Trump faces in a different criminal case. The case in front of the justices about a former police officer who wants charges stemming from his participation in January 6 dropped. The same law Mr. Trump has been charged with in his election interference case. But some of the justices today pressing the government to explain whether the law could unfairly sweep up those engaged in legitimate protests. What happened on January 6 was very, very serious. But we need to find out what, it, what are the outer reaches of this statute under your interpretation. And Laura, if we could turn back to today's trial, the former president, a lot of focus today was on the prospective jurors' social media posts about Mr. Trump. Yes, Lester, and clearly the defense team had done a deep dive on these prospective jurors. Several of them were brought in for additional questions, pressed on what they had said as long as six years ago. But most of them had said that today they can be fair, Lester, and in many cases the judge agreed. The questioning will continue on Thursday. Lester? Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.